Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 71. Um, in the show today, we have uh, Johan Als, as usual. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we have Kurbis Null, who's joining us for the first time. How's it going? Well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, Jan Vermeer is unfortunately off at some event tonight. Again. Again. Oh, he's busy. He is yes, actually. He's, he's got these excuses of, of, of having to... What is, what is he attending? Is he getting anything free? Something to do with Samsung. Something with Samsung. Yes. But didn't they give tickets away like two weeks ago for one, one or other show? What is Samsung doing so much? Well, they're actually pushing quite hard. Are we going to be talking about them later in the show as well? Are we? Yes. Oh, okay. Very, very <laughs> amusing stuff. Um, and of course, we have the mixer with us. Uh, they who shall not be named. I haven't thought of a quick, uh, you know... We should have another mixture. I was actually sit down one day and... I know what's happened. What? The mixer upset it. Got us... Uh, sorry, the mixer got upset by MWeb. No, do you know what happened? Is an image went out to our MWeb server with the mixer's face. There we go. Brought the whole MWeb down. So the whole MWeb the hosting in Joburg is down, including all the ADSL accounts. Love to know what the hell's going on there. Again, it's... It's going to be a core root of failure. Just, it's, <laughs> where was it? Blackberry's one was a core root of failure. As soon as I heard it, I was like, yeah, right. I wonder, the other one? I, I wonder who's making uh, these routers. I hope, it's, <laughs> I hope it's not all Cisco routers. <laughs> I Cisco routers. Unfortunately, you know when, when you've heard the same excuse four times in a row? I, I, my, my uh, it sounds a bit, I can't believe it anymore. Anyway. Well, look, there's no way for us to actually confirm it's not a power issue. Because we can't get to anything there. No. So it could actually just be... But I don't think be, it's power. But they've got, they've got uh, power. Yes, but you know how M MTN Business has made good, good uh, efforts to actually make sure when the UPS goes down, there's, oil, what, there's a diesel leak on the, on the generator that then trips the fire alarms <laughs> and then switches off the protection and then you know, off goes the data center due to fi power failure. So it could be power. It could be, though. I think it's more of a technical issue because, look, I must say one good thing is they have, I have received an SMS from them. Yes, we did. We've yeah. received a second SMS from them saying they're still looking at it. Serious? Yeah. Well, I only get one. Because I'm special. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. But on that note, so sorry, yeah, this show did not go out live. Yeah, cool. Um, well, actually, it did. It went to our backup, backup server, <laughs> which is live too, sitting in the UK. But we can't tell anybody. <laughs> I've tweeted it. Unfortunately, if we'd known a bit beforehand, we would have pushed the new servers out a bit harder. But such is life. Um, anyway, um, into events. Tomorrow is G South Africa. If you haven't signed up, it's too late. <laughs> How are we getting there? I'm driving. I'm, I'm considering to take the car train, but I'm worried I'm not going to get there. <laughs> they do say services is, is running fine. And I think it was running fine today, wasn't it? I, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, so if I phone you from Rosebank Station, I, then I can't get to then Park Station, up. then you must just come <laughs> and fetch me, please. Cool. Not a problem, not a problem. <laughs> All right, um, I'm looking forward to that. Tomorrow is the business one, and then uh, the next day, Friday, is the more developer technical one. Develop, yeah. developer one. Uh, we'll give feedback next week, and obviously you'll be tweeting and hopefully taking some photos. So what, I mean, Hawkeys has been building up one hell of a list of questions. And I think G-Drive is going to get added. <laughs> yes. I'll well, just quickly go into that. Um, some guys were messing around in the JavaScript for uh, Google Docs mm -hmm. past couple of days, and they found out if you hack it, all of a sudden this G-Drive icon appears. You can download your document from well, they, they, they Google Docs theorizing your... what it is. What they do see is there's a link to some app that you need to install. Okay. Now, unfortunately, they don't have the rights to get that app, and what they theorizing is this is a new thing that uh, maybe for Chrome or for your PC where you, you'd install this app and basically when you click on that it'll be able to download for offline viewing the docs. I'll well, be very happy with that. Well, I just, I mean, they've got, had to go and wait and I just bought myself Jelly, uh, I the name, Gladinet, which is actually a third-party application that does synchronization into Google Docs and you can actually do all of that. So yeah, it would be a good time now to launch G Drive. Synchronization but, into? Any, all of your Sky storages from SkyDrive, from, from Microsoft to Google Docs oh, okay. to Picasa. They give you, it's an application, Windows based, that you load and then it actually will synchronize into all of those. Well, look, I know Li nice. LibreOffice or OpenOffice, there was a plugin that you can install. Um, and what you can then do is edit the Google Docs in on your local PC, save it. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you're done, you can re upload directly into Google Docs from inside the, the um, Very nice. Libre office suite. Well, it's funny that not more applications have done it. But then I wanted to, just before the show, I opened this email from Apple Card, mm -hmm. 
uh, that normally do uh, uh, Apple Card or Toyota Zeta, they do Apple products. And I see there's from Itachi this G technology. And specifically, the first item in the email talks about G drive, trademarked. Professional strength external hard drives. These are eSATA, USB 3 Firewire external drives. How did they get that? Don't know. I'm just I reading this ad. Because and I'm just waiting for Google to pick it up and go, is it? Like the rumors come out and suddenly there's a product that launches that uses the word G drive. I think it's just a bit ser serendipitous. Well, they've got a team behind it. Yeah. So. Well, well let's see. Look, we were awesome tomorrow. They, they do theorize the fact we've seen this. Um, it means they're going to be releasing the application quite shortly. Um, and at that point, we'll actually find out what it is. Um, cool, but are you that excited? I don't know yet. There's a lot of competitors. If they want to launch something like this, they're very late to market. No, well, look, what they, they're theorizing is not a, a Dropbox replacement. This allows Why wouldn't for be? offline documents. It's a waste of time. Why? In um, Africa, with mweb or whatever <laughs> your internet disappears yeah. i actually think it's quite a good case study for offline google okay Docs. how okay so you've got the, the the document offline so they're also then going to make the whole office environment work offline yes that, that's the, the theory is this little app that you're going to install gives you maybe like a little web server or something so when it does it will offload into this offline and when you then want to edit it, it will actually be editing in this thing and then uploading and syncing. when you connect it again yeah so it's Dropbox. Yes, it's Dropbox with the, app, the effectively the Google application for editing the documents. I mean, if they're going to do that, because the big thing about your Google Docs, which has been open now for how long, you can upload anything in there. Mm. You, can, you can put anything in there. So um, if they're going to give synchronization, make sure that, yeah, like Dropbox, give me everything that I can work with, can open a PDF. Look, they might not do it because a lot of that um, work in con conversion will be done on the servers. So that must be it, you're going to be, be able to work on, like, let's say, new docs that are in the right <laughs> format or docs that you've already converted. I don't think it will be offline conversion. I don't know. Look, Look at the end of the day, and just like Orky's saying, sort out the Android app. Yes. I don't care how you fix it. If, if G Drive is fixing the Android app, Fix the Android app because well, that is the most pathetic piece of software from Google in a long time. Yeah, it's a waste of space. I mean, really, this this feels like one of those one fifth of your time quick projects that somebody hammered out. But I mean, it's not because the rumors for G Drive has been running around forever. Mm. Mm. I mean, everybody's been speculating that they have to do something. I mean, if you look at okay, let me let me put it like this: Have you ever tried SkyDrive, which is the Microsoft equivalent? I mean, no. Most of your I'm, I'm yes, never in Microsoft long enough to use it. Um, let me explain it like this. If you, and there is Ubuntu apps, the connecting to SkyDrive. Um, if you look at the two guys competing to each other now for the online market, be it um, G, uh, Gmail with Google Docs, Microsoft's got the same offering. They give you what Hotmail, but they... Um, They've got their own office suite inside. It built yeah. in. Yeah. And I have my own issues with that, but let's look at But the one thing that Microsoft did launch was 25 gigs of <laughs> online storage, real online storage. You can download their synchronized application. You get the, the, the same uh, flexibility as Dropbox, where they take five gigs out of your 25 gigs, and that's synchronized for all your PCs. And other 20 gigs is online storage. That's something Google hasn't done. So, yes, we've all gone well, to Dropbox. Yes, but you haven't gone to SkyDrive. I actually do use SkyDrive for deep archive files. Yeah, but like I don't use SkyDrive because it doesn't work across in, in the worlds I work in. Um, Dropbox just works, and that's the beauty of Dropbox. I must say, I, I would even actually pay them for more storage. I just find them a bit expensive for, for, what, for what you need. Uh, it was, I can't remember, it's, it's a couple hundred, 300 rand or something a month to get it. Um, and to me, that was just a bit too expensive. I think it's but 700 rand a year for 50 gig, which is not bad. No, that's not bad. I, I was thinking it was more than the... So I'll double check right yeah, I'll now. I'll just double check for me. Anyway, I'm just going to move along. Yes, okay, sorry. Yeah. We, we but, but let's see what happens with G-Drive. It's, it's, um, it's needed. And it's new. Mm. Oh, it's n n more toys. Yeah. Tech, tech guys love more toys. Um, okay, then 9th and 10th is Africa Com. I don't know that much about it. Oh, yes, the conference in Cape Town. Um, Africa Communications Conference. 
Um, basically, m most of the satellite uh, satellite manufacturers and operators will be there. Uh, it's a it's a it's a little bit of a it's the first time I'm going to be attending. Um, I'm not attending the conference site because it was just ridiculously expensive. It's like three and a half grand for the two days to attend the conference site. I'm going to the exhibition site, um, but it's very interesting because it looks like there's going to be from telecoms guys to network operators to uh, satellite satellite operators. It's going to be interesting. Mm. It is in Sleep City, so we'll see how that goes. But um, no, I'm going to be attending that. It's on Monday and uh, Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday next week. Okay, so we're not um, going to see you Wednesday and Thursday next week. No, you're week. not going to see me. Unfortunately, okay, the flights cool. that we got are ridiculous times. But uh, I'll give you some feedback uh, the following week cool, just on cool. what that is about. All right. Uh, then we, there's also IP Expo the week after that. Uh, this one is in uh, Johannesburg. And basically, it's moving, what's it? Move your company from the PC area to the cloud area. So they're actually doing a lot of uh, cloud stuff. So IP telephony, uh, cloud storage, um, trying to think. Sugar, sugar, the CRM management in the cloud. Sugar CRM. Yeah. And a couple of the others. Uh, there's another big one that I've just gone blank on. But it's basically, it's, it's dealing with apps in the cloud. VMware, I'm sure, is going to be there. Um, it, it should also be quite an interesting uh, conference. But this, no, this is an expo. Oh, expo, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be, this is the one at uh, Santon Convention Center, if I remember right. And yeah, I just, this is something I just popped into my mailbox that I added. But, don't know. Again, these are, a lot of these conferences are coming up. Obviously, the economy is picking up again, so people think there's money to be spent. So, yeah, it's, it's not far. It's in Santon, so if anybody's around, just pop in and go check okay. it out. Now, the final thing happening this, this month, which is not uh, – we're not talking about Movember, is National Novel Writing Month, and this got added in by the mixer. Um, so if you find a book that you cannot understand because it's just too high brow in there, you know it's the mixer who wrote it. Okay, what is this about? Um, basically, it's uh, it's a way of getting people to start writing more books. And the, the half this thing is it's quality, uh, quantity over qu quality. And the whole thing is, you know, everybody's like, they're trying to write their perfect book. And they yeah. say, this is not about that. This is just about writing the book. Um, and there's a whole big competition, and they want you to write as quickly as possible and just get it out. I think it's uh, no 50,000 words. No matter just what get a it's book about. Out. No, whatever <laughs> you want to write. Just, it has to be 50,000 words, and you enter it in. Okay, um, what do you win? I have no idea. <laughs> the cat <laughs> okay. sits down. The cat walks through the gate. <laughs> the cat goes to the street. Sounds like status updates so on so Facebook. So you're going to do 50,000 <laughs> with like three, hey. letter, three word sentences, one on each page. I've got a family member that decided to immigrate with to Australia pictures. and they had to do the <laughs> English yeah. exam to actually get there. And he walked in and he said what the best thing he could ever do, being Afrikaans speaking. He wrote this whole exam with three syllable um, words. So he wrote this whole essay using only three syllable words. I would use single syllable words. He, he passed three letters. Sorry, <laughs> yes. not syllables. You see, <laughs> you see, <laughs> letter words. I was three say, letter that, words. That's, that's that? impressive. Three no. syllable words. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The whole essay with three letter words. He passed. That that should take some thought. Like now, I have, each word should only be cat hat. Matt, you were like, imagine Rats. the teacher reading that okay. thing. He's like, what can't make the hell is grammar going on? Like it. Yeah. <laughs> what was well, this? Sorry, sorry. My case, Dropbox, that is 50 good. gigs, $99 per year. Cool. So it's about 800 Rand. 800 Rand, 50 gigs. Cool. Not That's bad. fair. All right. Um, <laughs> into the next one Battlefield 3. Battlefield! You guys, I, I know, have yes. both been raving about it. Awesome. Uh, I know Kubis is Nothing been quite excited. Beats about that. Battlefield, that's all I'm going to say. That, you know, we told him in Web's Dial we can't stream tonight. <laughs> you know what his first thing is? <laughs> Damn, we'll be better back, be back when I get home so I can play Battlefield. I'm play Battlefield okay, but now you've been playing multiplayer. Yes. I've been playing the campaign. Yes. Okay, so I can comment on the campaign side. The yes. storyline is brilliant. No, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing the campaign because I've heard and read online how well this campaign is. And yeah. I'm just stuck in multiplayer because all my friends are playing. I'm getting new no, equipment. Like, you've got to play stuff. campaign, finish that, and then you can go to multiplayer. Yeah. Understand what the story if, if is about. Only, if only the game w worked yes. offline, so, so, then so, I would so, play so, the single thank player. Thank you. Yes. Origin sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, ma yeah. ma maybe. Sucks. Because, I mean, even if the internet went down, um, like, well... Because tonight this game launches out of your browser. Player. Yeah, everything. I kid you not. You this cannot game, launch the single player. Nothing. 
launches out of your browser on their server. And the launches is, the game. You can't get into the game without being able to connect to their server, web server, and then it launches the game. Yeah. Look, I must fail. say, yeah, I think it's, it's a fail. Bit, but I, I can understand yeah. why the others. security so, is So what's it? Soul, Soulcroft. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Starcraft 2. Starcraft 2. Yeah. You need to be online to play. The same thing is going to happen with uh, Diablo 3 as well. You'll, yeah. you, but I mean, you you're, not, any, you're not like play. going from, you've, you've got this launcher that comes up that you click the button. That then launches your, in, your, your default browser, which then needs a plugin to be installed and working. And then from I there, say you say single player. Why? That makes no sense, though, to me. I think it's all about security they reasons. They want more hits on their site. Well, okay. It's if you, if you look at Google ranking, if you look at battle battle I'm log, which you need to log in. No, but he's, yeah. No, sorry, it's just sorry, yes. no, it's probably if you, right. If, if if you want to play the game, you you have to have Origin installed. That's like their back end security thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's you launch, Steam. yeah, yeah. It's almost like Steam. Because they've got a shopping version, center, yeah. and you can buy. You launch oh. the game through this. It it opens up your default browser. It logs you into a uh, uh, battle log, and from battle log you launch the game, single player, co op, or multiplayer. It, it launches actually pretty quick, uh, also depending on what connection you have. But uh, everything happens to this browser. And it also acts like your online Facebook per se, but for Battlefield. It keeps your statistics, your you unlocks, see, everything is kept there. So it's, it's where you can compete against your friends sorry. and all that. Crap. <laughs> because I started playing on this yeah. notebook. Okay, I started playing on my notebook and then realized, okay, listen, this graphics is just a little bit too much. I moved to my desktop. Reinstalled the game, everything there. That whole online profile, I had to start the game from the beginning. What? Seriously? Yes, the campaign, I had to start from the beginning again. It didn't, it didn't keep your saves on that's a cloud like, or nothing? No. So they tell you on oh, the website, that's a little... you've so far in the campaign and everything, but then when you try and play it from another machine... Okay, I'm going to say, with I thought it the, would have no, saved Star, it on the cloud. One, it does transfer and everything like that, which I do like. I must say, yeah, I that, is, like that. that is the... Which is all right. Okay, I wasn't too far into the game, so it didn't bother me too much. No, I, I could that, appreciate the, the graphics a little bit better uh, on that beginning because the beginning of the game is awesome. Um, but I must say, it's, it's like one of the things, that, and it's really odd, that drives me nuts about Angry Birds. <laughs> whatever game tablet get from I, I play to on, Angry Birds. I have to start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the game's too. Yeah. I want I'm, these things so online. Just yeah. synchronize where the hell I am in the game. How difficult is it? <laughs> yeah, I started playing yeah, Angry okay, Birds as well on, on my on my good Google point. browser, and then I'm like, oh, I can get it on my Android phone as well. Uh, to start from scratch. Yes. Yeah, but it's, no. And my problem is not too much as difficult as I don't want to have to do it again. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're already halfway through. Hey, but but other than that, the game is awesome. Um, it launched on, help me, Thursday. Yes, Thursday in South Africa it launched here, the 28th Thursday. of October. So I moved from my notebook to my desktop, do the installation, which is also a little bit of a fail, but we're going. I've heard people Launch it up, there. 700 megs download. Here we go. First update, not even a week later. 700. Like What's it about? You only need two gigs of bandwidth a month? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you what? 10 gig, uh, what? If, you, if you download yeah, more than 10 gig, you're a leecher. You're, you're an abuser. What? Oh, yeah. yeah Sorry. Well, luckily, he, yeah, he did I backtrack just, a bit during. Uh, luckily, Marvel there's there's a workaround. It, if if someone already has the client or have downloaded the client, you can copy that client into your origin folder wherever it's needed yeah. to be, and then it, it would re recognize you have all the data files and it would launch. Oh, a lot of cool. people have struggled downloading the client and installing. I know um, someone I've been chatting with. She said that. She's been downloading, I don't know, a few nights, and it just keeps on bombing. I've heard about another guy, he was stuck at 99%, and it just wouldn't go further than that. It's almost like it's got a problem. There is some sort of manager. bug, yeah, that is going, and a lot of people have that. Luckily, I, I downloaded it, the client up until I think 75%, and uh, then the, I just the copied the client The other thing is, is it could be, I've also noticed on certain ISPs in this country, it could they, be. they run some fancy software that does it. it Make sure that you don't need to pull the same file more than once. Yeah. But we've we've caught them on a couple of occasions where they've cached a broken a, a file. Broken, yeah. file broken file, and you can't. You, you just can't. At that point, you need to do weird, wonderful things to bypass their proxy to, to then download the full file. Yeah. So I wonder if that's what's actually happened. Well, there there are some files. I, I can't remember the the file format it is. But uh, he copied the uh, the cl client from me. When he wanted to play the game, he, he saw that there was some file corrupt. So he came back, he just got that one file. It was like a gig file, one mm -hmm. little file. 
copied that over, throw, thrown it back into his folder, and it, it, it worked fine. Cool. So some some files it just yeah. probably well, doesn't want cool. to download. I, I'm gonna just no 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 yeah. no no quickly. Well, the major file <laughs> about this whole download manager, that, like you said, when you launch Origin, did you notice it says at the top Origin Beta? Yeah, it's still in beta phase, yeah. So the whole management tool that they're now forcing you to use, because all the other battlefields were available in Steam. But, Steam's but been yeah. around for how long? What, it, do they invite you to some ex-Google employees there? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but now Origin is now, so this new, brand new game that everybody's excited. If I actually uh, noticed that it wasn't in Steam, if I actually noticed that it wasn't in Steam, I would have probably not bought it, to be honest. I actually Why do I want wait, to run wait. two managers? The, a guy at work told me today that it will become available on Steam. But I know so for a fact that the game does need Origin to run. Then why buy through Steam we, when you still have to have Origin so Basically, installed? they're trying to push their own... Mani anyway. Yeah, they're I trying to push it. Yeah. That's, that's actually true. I just heard it from the guy at work. So, uh, uh, I get quite irritated with these guys. Uh, Batman Arkham City. Uh, we did a review with the lead, one of the lead... Paul Cocker. Oh, it's Paul Cocker, but I remember... Lead narr narr narrative... Narrative... Narr narrative... Designer. Designer. Yes. I want to say the lead writer. <laughs> it's effectively... It's, it's well, that's what he does. Yes. He wrote the stories. Um, I mean, it was in his interview, he said, he's got the coolest job ever. He, st he writes stories about Batman. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but I say, I got given a demo disc to, oh, a full disc to, to test out, uh, which I played a bit this weekend. Mm. Um, it's not the typical. On which platform? PS3. Did you play on PS3? Yeah. Okay, and? Um, let's, let's start with it. It's not the type of game that I enjoy playing that much. Yeah. Um, I, I tried the previous one as well, and I said, um, having said that, um, but that's more a, my personal preference. Having said that, compared to the previous game, this is way better than the previous one. And, and if you enjoy the previous one, which I know a lot of guys that, and the type of guys who enjoy these type of game is, are going to love this thing. Mm. And I must say, they've improved a lot of the things. With these open worlds, what tends to irritate the living hell out of me, you tend to spend half your time running around trying to get to where the next point is, to yes. do the next thing. Um, and this one, I, I, didn't, I don't feel that as much. It's all there a tiny bit, but it's not as much as side. I've been, and I'm also doing some of the side missions mm -hmm. and actually going to the next thing. But it feels far easier to get to the next point you know exactly where you're going so, so, so you don't need to like try and hunt and go oh where, mm. where are we now because actually have like this comes direction you can hit in a very straight line to get to the next uh, point where the next part of the, the story is it doesn't take you long to get there okay. so I, I don't know the feeling of I'm running around this huge city so your links is a, lot, my is a lot shorter yeah okay um, the storyline's very good I'm enjoying the storyline um, the the fighting sequence and all the rest of it <laughs> uh, I must say yes. Uh, Catwoman is in there, and she's wearing quite a suggestive outfit. Um, but you, What's the age restriction nice. on the game? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, not that we care, but that um, would I, I don't think it would be that some high. Some people do. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to think. Yeah, I, I, the game's very good. So if, if you like anything in that, go buy it. You will not be. Right? I, I've been playing for quite a while now, and I'm only one percent into the game. And okay, so, sure. so there's this is typical a Lara Croft gameplay. adventure type of game where you. No, it's not a Lara mm -hmm. Croft type game. Uh, what's I'm the, trying to think of what the interface is like. Is it? It's not first person. It's not shooter. a side scroll. It's, not first, it's, it's a third you, person. You, yeah? You're playing. You, you can see him. Third so view. You, you, third, yeah, third view. Third so it's, it's the same view as if you're playing Lara Croft. Yes. This is not Lara Croft where you, you're running, jumping, and it's it's puzzle solving effectively. This is more you go around. So you've got fights every now and again. You, you jump and fight. You you yeah. do have some puzzles to solve. Um, if you've tried pro prototype, it's something like this. Some of the mm. Spider-Man's ones have been like this. The third previous person Batman. action game, basically. Yeah. Comes um, and how's the console interface on the game? Great. Works. It, I must say, the game, the gameplay, my only reason why, why I say the only thing here where, where, where it's not my, is my personal preference. Other okay. than that, the game is brilliant. It's okay. really well done. And for someone who doesn't like this type of game, I'm actually sort of enjoying it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way through that. Just because... It, I have too, too little time. Download the walkthrough. Just cut your time and off and just get to the meat. <laughs> no, but it's not, it doesn't the take too long to get to solve problems. Lessons. When you don't have time. Yeah, yeah honey, what you don't realize You want to build a relationship with your partner. You take your tablet and the, the partner reads the walkthrough while you play the game. Looks like a child. <laughs> Cecilia will kill me. <laughs> Whoa. I promise you. Yes. Um, no, but anyway, yeah, having said that, this game is too long. <laughs> As I said, I've been playing. I haven't gotten stuck at all. Okay. I, I've played at least three, yeah. four hours, and I'm one, one or two percent into the game. 
So it's it's a very very big game. Well, um, there's no ways. Look, well, a lot of these things, I need a game where I can get in, I can play for half an hour. Half an hour later, I mean, you should be able to just stop, walk away, and when I come back, I don't need to remember what's happened before. Okay, and it's two weeks okay. later. Just because of, of my, my time at this moment in time, it's just too short. Okay. Um, if I had more time, I would be playing through this. And try Battlefield 3. Uh, yes. I'm not big into shooters. No, you'll, I'm you'll, you'll get into shooters when you play this game. <laughs> so now I wonder what, <laughs> what is Modern Warfare going to be? I, I've, I've, I was a very big oh. COD fan until Battlefield 3 came out. I don't but give, that, a, I don't I mean, give anything. I don't care There's two companies that's going to be competing for the no, same market. Call of Duty, let me tell you what I think about Call of Duty quick. Call of Duty has been the same game since Modern Warfare 2. Every, every time they bring out a new game, it's on the same engine, on the same everything with added features. Oh, now you have a little remote control vehicle that you can run around with and blow people up. Or you have a few new maps, a new, few new uh, uh, guns and so on. But it, it still feels like Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Now they've worked on other things to make Modern Warfare 3 a lot better. I've seen some of the stuff and it looks cool. But... I don't know, paying another 400 bucks for a game that I've played before. You say this, he says it till they play the next one, and it's like, look at all the new features in a little remote control car. <laughs> and I don't know, well, no, Battlefield 3, it's so. Yeah, if, I, if I compare the two, I'll definitely just want to play Battlefield. <laughs> cool, cool. So I'm just, That's I'm just, just my opinion. Uh, it's just uh, amazing that the two companies are like right, right on top of each other that they're releasing. Yeah. Close, um, close. Modern, uh, Modern Warfare is due for release to eight. Mm. Right. Actually, so I don't know, one. I just gave up. I, I, I don't care. Just want case. to play Battlefield. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, some people developed a gecko robot. A what? Uh, that seems cool. Effectively, it's a robot that can climb walls. How awesome is that? Um, very, very cool. How does it do it, though? Well, the way geckos do it. And what they've actually done is they've looked at how does geckos run up walls. Um, because theory, if you look at the, 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 the feet, they shouldn't be able to stick. Yeah. They're too heavy. Yeah. What they've actually just worked the out too. is, I don't know if it's little suctions or little, I think it's lots and lots of little hairs, which actually effectively increase the surface the area hmm. of it. And that actually uses, oh, I've got to find the right word here. Does, uh, it, does it catch flies too? If on the vol force. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but basically it uses the of volvo, which is a traction, it's, it's a very weak attractive force. Hmm? Okay, it's one of the weakest attractive forces according to our mixer. See? Okay, sorry. Attractive force. Now, I'm, I've lost you. What do you mean? <laughs> do, between, okay, have you seen how water will climb up the side of a dish? Yes. So there's attractive force between the water so, molecule and the, the side of the dish. Okay. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's von der Waals force. Now, how this works is if you can increase the surface area, um, it's, yes. it's in relation to the surface area. So the more surface area you have, the more things you, you basically attract to. And the more okay. you can stay. So basically, if you've got a flat surface, it's got a very thin surface area. But if you can make it quite bumpy, like with lots of hairs, you're effectively increasing the surface area. Yeah. <laughs> the thing anyway. goes up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have That's a robot that down down the wall. Watch. <laughs> oh. Lovely. Yeah. It's, it's cool. streaming. Cool. Check that out. Okay, and it's not suckers. It's, it's physically... <laughs> it's got lots of little hairs. Now, they've got... Damn. Uh, apparently, there's another bunch of guys who've developed from something similar. But that is very cool. It's like the wall is the hard part of Velcro, and then he... The if it, it works on a The similar, wheels of the software. Yeah. So, but it's not actually hooking. That's the thing. It's not grabbing on and hooking. It's actually using Funnival's force to attract. Hey, we, our chat room is... Very, guys must really join us in the chat room with the live shows. Because we've got people... Talk, yeah, giving me the Wikipedia page about Van der Waals force. Yeah, they want to school us now. Yes, so I know what I'm talking I, about. I've got a lot of time. I will uh, mm -hmm. sit and read this. All right. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> go so from that. Before Christmas. Um, Google Maps takes views into site shops, and basically Google overseas, not here. Of course, yes. Is taking... Um, Do you really want to see the inside of Macro? Yes. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Yeah, really. Think about it. I'd love to see the inside of... of um, um, Toys or Us in uh, Las, Las, uh, what, Las Vegas. No, no, no. Better. Hamleys. You see. Hamleys in England. Have you been? I've been into Hamleys. It's, I think, four or five stories of toys. And each story so, has yes. got a different theme. So, so yeah, like, you want to see Toys R Us in Turian Mall? <laughs> yeah, well. So, no, but it'd be quite nice. You know, sometimes you're wondering where the hell is the shop? And now well, you can search inside the mall, find the shop and go, okay, now how do I walk to get there? 
the same reason the way uh, you street view, you know, okay, route to the place, and then I, I street view and look around and go, okay, there's the building I'm looking for. And when I'm driving, go, ah, oh, there it is. And I drive Okay, it. fair. fair. And, and that's the thing. Just show, ask a shop attendant. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking for this. Aisle number three. <laughs> but cool, I think, that, just coming back to your comment, I think overseas, yes. Yeah, mm, no. I can see you wondering. Have you wandered around Santon recently? <laughs> I have children. <laughs> try, try, small children. Try it. Wait till you have to go to Santa again. And you can find okay. a store. All right. But what stores did they, did they put online? Uh, I don't know. I know they're doing a couple, and you can actually rec they tell the people when they're going to be there. Um, mm -hmm. They try to do it after it's hours so there's no people. They will okay. blank out all the people, and they won't do certain. So, like, they won't do lawyers um, and, and officers like that. <laughs> or hospitals, I would imagine. Okay. I can't talk what? To you. Oh, cool. So they are doing something in South Africa. Very cool. No, but that's um, not inside of the shop. That's inside of the botanical gardens. Yes, but it's actually, instead of being a car that walks around, it's actually uh, people with a pack uh, with a, a uh, fish eye that wanders around. Well, that's beautiful. Very cool. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. I threw you all over. Um, let's see where we are. Yeah. So, okay. We're talking about Samsung. And I'll tell you they're going to be coming Yes. Here. Okay, please. Samsung what? asked Apple to hand over iPhone 4S source code. You know this whole thing about Apple suing yes. Samsung? And, and now Samsung is all out to get them. So they basically, any argument they can throw out in court to get, get at Apple, and, and this is part of it um, where this is three major patents mm -hmm. that they're basically suing Apple about. And one of the rules in the country they're suing is that you have to offer, because it's such critical patents, that the, the industry, that phone w won't be able to work without it. Um, they have to offer it at a reasonable price. Thing. And what, what Samsung says, we offered it to Apple, and they refused. So now we can see them. <laughs> and part of the thing is, yeah. and while we see them, we want to see their source code. Because we want to see what else, they, they, what other patents they're breaking. This, is, this fight is getting very, very no, but but interesting. Apple picked it. No, they started it. Oh, absolutely. And I'm glad somebody's actually taking them, absolutely. going for them. I'm just, I wish more people were going for them. I'm trying to see. Is this now specifically on the 4S? Yeah, it's 4S source code. So the one? The one that has the most latest source code with everything in it. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Keep cool. going, Excelsior. All right. Anyway, the next one, which I'm just going to mention because I don't know that much. Uh, Celsius and Google basically are going to be funding some tech startups in this country. Mm -hmm. um, Celsius is going to be providing them, I think, with six-month bandwidth. Um, and then Google's basically, I think, giving them, they, in dollars, is a dollar amount they're giving, but it equates to about 300 to 400,000 Rand, depending on the exchange rate and stuff like that. Um, basically, there's also office space that they're getting. Um, and they've already picked the first four, and they're still looking for the fifth one. So if you have a startup, start sending your, your stuff there. Unfortunately, they might already have found, found, found the fifth, um, but we can ask them about, a bit about this tomorrow. We perfectly will. What, why is there speed tests in this article on my broadband? It's showing how fast <laughs> the internet they will have is. How's that? Sorry. It's 10 megabits per second. Not bad. South That's Africa, nice. local. 10 meg up and uh, 10 meg down. It's about they, They're giving these guys bi-directional 10 meg Oh, is that now what Cell C is giving them? Yes. You see, that's what I'm asking. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Cool. Um, and other things, uh, Diablo 3 pricing has basically been released. Um, and you can see there's pricing all over the place. Um, I think the cheapest was Kalahari or... No, BT Games is one of the cheapest. I'm not sure. I'm now Go lost. BT Games. Basically, before you go out and buy, check all of them. So check... Uh, uh, what's but it? this is all pre-order pricing. Take two, uh, BT Games and all the rest of it. And where the biggest saving is, it seems to be in the e Collector's Edition, mm. uh, which started it at 740. And I see in some place you can now get it for 670. Uh, that was take two. Okay. I, I'm keen for this game. I'm looking forward to it. What all I've right. seen, it looks promising, but... I'm I should hurry it. up. <laughs> well, this is a game that I can play very briefly, and when I, if I want to stop, I just stop. Yeah, no, I understand. Well, I've, I've played Diablo 1 and 2 very much yes. <laughs> as a child, so I'm really looking forward to this. So <laughs> it's, it's become <laughs> an epic like StarCraft. 
Yes. Everybody's been waiting Five for the Blizzard. next one. Yeah. Five Blizzard. Well, they released StarCraft last year, so they yeah. couldn't do well, they couldn't do nothing this year, so they released the Diablo. Yeah. And then we're going to have the expansion for StarCraft. No, I think there's a big uh, World of Warcraft for next year. Yeah, yeah they, they're, they're working with on a new season. MMO, isn't it? Just an update. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, that engine needs some work, but that's just me. Okay. Um, we were just talking about the Google Drive. Um, basically, then the next one is how to get more storage for Dropbox. And one of the clever ways that some, one of the guys got more storage for Dropbox. Yes. He put some Google Ads out. For his reference. Yes. So he was advertising his referral number as Google Ads. Yes. Unbelievable. Basically, because nobody else wanted it, you know, at a, so he bought really cheap adverts. Mm. Um, and in his case, so he paid. But at, at, if you think about it, it's, it's, it goes up to eight gigs forever. Yes. He made back his money very easily. <laughs> <laughs> um, even in this, they actually talk about how to get free AdWords money to do this. Well, I must probably start using mine. I, I get about 700 to 500 rand every second month from them. Oh. I must actually just ask them to it's actually start using it from Google. Oh, is this with the AdWords and all the rest of it? I've, I've got an AdSense account and then they send and I just never get around. By the time I remember about the voucher, it's normally expired. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I must probably look at it. Cool. Um, but it's pretty cool. Just checking the show and it's hard to get through to it, but it was quite clever. Um, and there's another app which I haven't tested yet. Um, but there's apparently this Wi-Fi, an app that you can saw on your Android, and you can basically kick other people off Wi-Fi. That's cool. So well, the way the guy says is if you find somebody else, it was originally installed as a tool to help IT admins. Mm -hmm. So some guys abusing the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Basically, you have this thing on your phone, you click, 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 and it kicks that guy off. Like heavy users. Say, but basically, something. what you could use it very well is in public Wi-Fi. Yeah. If you want all the bandwidth for you, it, how does it kick somebody off? <laughs> it actually basically does op spoofing. Uh, uh, and you okay. send out your MAC address and you force other people okay. to update and you send them to malicious op uh, numbers. Because most Windows machines won't understand that without a proper firewall and then you know, you'll have to restart the machine to get it back. <laughs> no, or you just need to bounce your op uh, off flush. Restart the Windows machine. No, well, for the sake, can I tell you the bad news? This will work on a Linux machine. I've, I've, I've... I haven't tested this app, but I've played no, around with it's cool spoofing. that it's now on a mobile. Yes, it's very cool that it's on a mobile. That is, like, awesome. Well, like one of my friends did. He, he wrote to his phone today, and it's like, and then a couple of seconds later, ha, 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 SSH into my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Say again? He SSH'd into his phone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, these modern phones are PCs. Yes. So that's very cool what they can actually do. So the quad core is going to open up a whole new market. And the tablet's going to be released early December or late this. I don't yes. know if it's late this month or early December with the Cal, Cal, Cal L, the uh, Tegra 3. Mm -hmm. oh, that looks pretty. The new. Uh, you see, now, in that environment, remember I had the argument with you guys about multiple cores on a cell phone? Yes. When you're going to start hosting services, yes. Then the extra cores make sense. Why? because then you can host services off your cell phone. Yeah, but you had those servers that run off the arm where they've got multi, you know, basically they were doing that big server for, uh, basically for, for web server farms. Mm -hmm. and basically there's lots and lots of slots with ARM processors in it. Um, to, um, and what their theory is, you can basically turn a lot of the arms off so as your load increases, you turn these things on. And it gives you huge, huge power savings. Correct. I want, I want quad cores though for my games. <laughs> yeah, if you said that, I understand. But I mean, then the graphics must catch up. So the new NVIDIA graphics uh, chips for mobiles, it's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. And from that into our kicker, um, basically, do, you know, do you have somebody who's out to get you and in a run? Well, now you can buy a crossbow for your wrist. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> you must be, oh, no, man. It's oh, the new cool. weapon against zombie apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let Corey you know. <laughs> Wrist uh, mount, full automatic or what? <laughs> Why is there so many Sorry. servos yes, on this Yes, where thing? would you hide the ammo? Okay, semi-automatic. It's got to shoot and reload. You understand what I'm saying? But I mean, <laughs> why are there servos beep, beep. and stuff on this thing? Are you sure? It's gas to propel it. Isn't What's it? this power at the back there? Look. <laughs> it has laser a laser sight. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, okay. Uh, don't mechanism. worry. It's cute. <laughs> I like it. I think it's cool. 
If somebody offered you one, you wouldn't say no. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll never then use it. you'd hide it away cool. from your children. Fair. And they demo it on a, on a not a real hand in the video. They decided let's not really show it on a hand. Let's just put it on a glass. Yeah, okay. Right, <laughs> yes. How can right. somebody be this bored? Okay, real kicker. Mm. Well done. <laughs> it's a Apparently, it's a homebrew weapons expert. Uh, homebrew to me means brew. So I can imagine a couple guys made some nice beer, busy testing it and go, do you know what we really need now? <laughs> it's a wrist it's cross a wrist Okay, cross if I can bro. give you a tip. Let me just get this right. I think it's Ninja Gun. Ninja you want to see some weird and How fancy... How are you able to shoot the ninja? You can never see one. If you want to see... For a gun for a ninja. Oh, sorry, yes. I misunderstood. But ninjas My don't bad. need guns. It's just a bunch of guys. I, I'm sure they Kill call you it... with their mind. <laughs> Wait. I'm sure they call it Ninja Gun. It's a bunch of... It's, it's designs and and stuff that they put... Build these weaponry uh, firearms for ninjas. And you find yours, Ninja Gun. You'll find the weirdest stuff like... You know, a wrist... Crossbow? Crossbow. <laughs> cool. Anyway. <laughs> well then. Cool. With that, we can end the show. Win. Thank you very much. Cool. I just want to say thank you to the mixer. Thank you, Johan Els. You can find him at Johan Johan underscore else. else. And on your blog is where else? No, blog.who-else.co.za. Who Sorry. It needs an update. I know. Cool. I'll get there. Kripus now. Cool. Thank you for joining us. Where, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter uh, at clericza. Uh, we can go to my about me page, about.me forward slash clericza. Uh, you can find all kinds of links there how to get in contact with me. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me. Oh, great to have you. And you can find me, uh, Tim underscore. Oh, <laughs> sure. Tim, Tim underscore. Hop Who am I? On Twitter. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and look all my details on our wiki. Uh, Go to wiki.altinet. It's all there. So much info. Cool. All right. right. Anyway, thanks for thanks for listening. Thank you.